Uh, today we're going to uh, do a full service on a 40 horse Mercury outboard. This is a 2006 model, uh, fuel injected. Um, it's a very common motor around our parts anyway, but I think uh, there were lots of these built. Um, we see, an, see them an awful lot. Uh, there's a couple of little tricks to them, but um, they're a pretty basic motor um, and uh, pretty easy to work on. Um, so we're just going to go through step by step um, all the different parts of uh, the service. This is in for an annual service. We only see this boat once a year. So um, in fact, I haven't seen it for two years now. So I'm not even sure what we're going to be in for. So let's have a look. Three cylinder, 40 horsepower. They vibrate when they idle. Um, I see that uh, I last serviced this uh, at 291 hours. I'll, uh, well, let's just bring the camera around here. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you know I like to put the uh, the date and the hours on the oil filter so uh, I can know automatically uh, when we did it, which was two years ago, and uh, how many hours were on it. Uh, this boat doesn't have an hour meter on it, so we're going to scan the computer to, uh, uh, to get the current hours. So let's start with that and we'll check for uh, any, uh, any data codes as well. This is a... Uh, 2006, like I said, um, these are uh, these are kind of a little bit tricky. Um, they have the the newer style CAN bus. Um, uh, what is it? It's the G3 CAN bus plug up here, but they aren't G3 compatible. They have the old style uh, computer scan plug hidden on the front here, so. Uh, I'm scanning this with a, uh, a Diacom uh, by Rinda. Um, we use this for almost everything that we service here, and it's proven to be a, a great system. Uh, we quite like it. So um, I've plugged in my, uh, my data cord here. Uh, just turn the ignition on. Uh, got the computer in there. We'll see if we can zoom in on it for you so you can see a little bit better what's going on. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I've chosen the uh, SmartCraft ECM. Click on OK. Ignition is on. Oh, this is not a touch screen, Jim. Try this one. Connect the computer, and uh, it's showing us uh, some battery voltage there. So we know we're connected, everything's happy. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, check for data codes, trouble codes. And we'll look at the uh, read faults button here. No codes found. So now we're going to look at the, uh, the history, the fault history. Um, we have several options here. We can read the fault and RPM history or we can erase the fault history or RPM history. I don't like to erase it. I like to leave it for uh, future technicians to have a look at. Um, I'm, I'm happy to leave the, uh, the data codes, the trouble codes in there so that in two, three, five years time somebody's scanning the computer they can see 
that it overheated or had an oil pressure problem or whatever. So, so we're just going to read the uh, fault and RPM history and uh, see what it tells me. And I'm just looking for anything um, really bad, like it, like it overheated or whatever. So. Um, Trying to stay out of the way of the camera here. So we've got an overspeed, we've got a circuit, temperature circuit high, um, <clears throat> coolant temperature. Coolant temperature was, it says minus two degrees Fahrenheit, so um, obviously there was a glitch in the. Uh, and the temperature sensor, it's got an overspeed here, 6,000 RPM, just under 6,000 um, uh, for like two seconds. Fuel pump circuit problem, which we see quite often. And then um, this one here is uh, the amount of seconds that any of these faults were logged. And we can see that they were zeros all the way along, so that's good. Uh, and the other thing, I'm piece of information I'm after is um, total hours, 345. And uh, we also get a great breakdown of what sort of RPM it's been used at a lot. Um, we see most of it has been idling. Um, and then it run, they're running at anywhere between um, 3,000 and uh, 5,000 RPM most of the time, and a little bit over 5,000. So we currently have 345.9 hours on there, no current trouble codes. Um, I'm happy with that, and I'm just going to write the hours down on the work order so that I've got a reference. And 345, and it was 291, so you've done uh, 55 hours on it so far.